Hallo meine Freunde, ich bin James Bray und willkommen zu einem neuen Video. Uh, today I'm going to be checking out a video from Connor Sullivan, where he actually traveled to Cologne, Germany, man. And um, this is actually inspired and actually uh, recommended by a lot of you guys in the comment section because a lot of you guys were like, hey, um, this is, you know, uh, a guy that we all like to, to, to see. We want you to see one of his videos of Cologne, Germany, because we want you to see a really good impression of what Cologne, Germany is. Looks like just from the, the, the image that I have here, Silas Nasida was also traveling with him at this time as well, or Silas Nasida. Um, and he's a really cool dude too. I'm going to link the original video in the description down below. So check him out. If you guys don't know who Connor Sullivan is, I'm going to be watching this video and throughout it, I'm going to be asking a lot of questions because i'm curious about uh cologne germany that's the that's the main place i want to visit when i get out there now i do also want to visit munich hamburg uh frankfurt and um stuttgart uh germany as well and even um what's the other fucking place uh dortmund um but yeah like I, there's a lot of places i want to check out but cologne is at the top of my list uh because i heard that it's like the most city-esque looking place but i could be wrong let me know what you guys feel, think and feel in the comments down below if you're new to the channel welcome and if you're returning viewer welcome back we do things like this on the daily as you know we have snow behind us because it is still a winter month once it officially becomes spring i will go from snow to flames okay anyways let's go ahead and get into this thing and see exactly what we're working with man Oh, and join the Discord. I think I said that already, but definitely join our Discord. Discord link is in the description down below. I also have a Twitch stream. Um, I do live reactions and stuff. That is also in the uh, description down below. Go check that out. <laughs> We're in the middle of Cologne right now, Germany. One of the major cities so that we have dope. not explored yet. Everybody's outside drinking beer. It's a great day. Cologne, Germany. Hey. Mm -hmm. New freezer. Silas Nasida reminds me of my friend Armando, man. Armando uh, reminds me of him so much, and like they kind of remind me of each other. Like, it's so fucking crazy, man. Same dynamic too. Like, I, I I totally would travel and stuff with the homie and stuff and do some shit like this. This would be cool. I'm telling you guys, German vlogs coming very, very, very soon. If anything, I'm gonna try to do a couple German challenges on this channel, man. Um, I know it sounds like, you know, Jeremy, 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 Jeremy. Do something different. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to drill this in my skull so I understand that language to a T. So you're going to be seeing a lot of German content on here. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> hey. Uh, uh. Yes. Americans exploring Cologne. Park. What's up, y'all? We're driving to Cologne. Yes. Marburg to Cologne. Okay. Wow. Traffic looks. So where is this autobahn you all speak of? I'm zooming in right here. I don't see no autobahn. Is it right here on the uh, far, far left side? Cause it looked like they driving slow as hell, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. Like that's a slow ass autobahn if that's what it is. Get a cameraman and like an editor, and that's it. Yeah. This is the Beatles all day. That's it. Cameraman, it's too hot. Beautiful countryside. I just had a weird experience at a gas station. There was pretzels in the oven. Question, random question. Do you guys have air conditioning units in your cars? Because I know y'all don't have AC units in your houses. So do you guys have ACs in your vehicles? That's actually a very important question because it's all, it's funny. There's some places in the United States that will let car dealerships sell you a vehicle with a broken air conditioning unit or air conditioning units that don't even exist. So I'm curious. It's a valid question, trust me. Um, do you guys have AC units in your vehicles? Is it, is it possible to turn the AC on in your car or not? Nah, like, I'm curious. Let me know in the comments down below. And I said, can I have a pretzel? And, she, and the lady said, no, it's let's, too hot. Let's reenact it. I'll be the lady at the counter. Okay, hey. can I pay for my gas and one pretzel? No, too hot. Is there a rule in Germany where if it's too hot, you can't buy it? Hey, hey. We're in Cologne for the hey. day. This is our very first time in Cologne. First thing I saw here that was nice is this car. Woo. Dang. Hey. Mary While we're in Cologne, we got a lot of places to check out. Something I wanted to say on the way here. In Germany, they don't really have cities that are run down. Like in the US, a country of 300 million people, there's places that are very, very nice and very, very poor. Yeah, that's true. We have like literally 
Chicago is a great example of this. So you'll have a slum ass looking village looking thing um, before you even hit the big city and literally one train ride, right? Like a 15 minute train ride, it'll go from like ghetto slum to like million dollar buildings and stuff. It's crazy, man. In Germany, it seems to be that everything's pretty even keel. Obviously not all cities are equal, but it's kept True. up pretty nice. Hey. Best kept secret. This is one of my favorite things. Not even kidding about Germany. They have a bread vending machine. Yo, that's facts, bro. That's facts. Uh, I remember they were talking about this. Silas Nasida, Silas Nasida, and um, Connor Sullivan were talking about this. Cologne, Germany. Uh, they were talking about uh, a bread machine in there and stuff. So it's pretty. You literally walk up, push a button, and bread pops out. Fresh bread. We're gonna do it again. Let's go. Yes. Look at this nougat croissant, dude. Those prices are dope. I've waited seven months for this. Yes. Einen Moment, bitte. Einen Moment, bitte. Oh, choco shit. Croissant. Yeah, yeah. We in Audi Cologne. I got a choco hey, croissant. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, one. This is totally normal, right? Like you guys have bread vending machines. I'm not sure like how often you guys use them, but um, I, I know Steelers and Steven made a video where he was talking about bread vending machines as well. But bro, this is absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. And it's funny, I feel like they edit the same. They've lived with each other for so long. Their editing styles are very similar. All right, Silas and I were walking up on a park. Look at how Silas. many people are I keep are saying Silas, bro. It's Silas. Silas Nasita. Sunny days in Germany. Everybody gets their blankets. They get picnic. They bring nice. beer. They have nice. a little barbecue. Hey, and look at okay. there's thousands of people out here like it's 4th of July in America. And it's not a holiday. But it is a holiday because it's sunny. Yes. And they want to chill. Look at this. We need to get involved in That's whatever is happening awesome. here. That's awesome. It feels like it's 4th of July, huh? 100%. Now we just need some Rattler and a steak, a fat steak. So what's Rattler? Oh, look at everybody's out here. Bro, it's weird to me that people are out in the park like this. I mean, normally they would be... That's 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 the only thing that I think is a little weird. I mean, that's cool. You know, it's cool that, they're, that they, they can do that. But it's just like... I would sunbathe at a beach or something, not really at a park, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, I guess, but hey, I guess it, nature is nature. Enjoy it what, where, wherever you can, when you can. That's cool though, man. Like, it's like, I feel like I, from what I've seen, people appreciate things like this almost more so than people here. Not to say that we don't appreciate it, but I feel like we just have, we show a different way of appreciation appreciating something like that because in america on a random day you would not really see this many people in a regular park you would see this many people at a beach though or somewhere else but i mean even for places that don't have beaches you might see them doing like other activities and stuff but not really chilling at a park like this i mean it's not really a common thing from what i see hey this is a dope view of you right here bar marley give me like the the Oh, oh, for real? Turkey? What's up, yeah, we, we, went to we went there last, last year. year. Yeah. Hey, we that's it. dope. We dope. I'm really watching you this guy. I'm like, hey, man. Right. See, I still. What up, yo? Guys do. These guys are from Turkey. That's dope, man. This is Cologne, Germany. Cologne, Germany. Cologne, Germany. I wonder if the term, like, I wonder if that's where, like, the, the term for the perfume for men, cologne, came from. Because maybe, you know, cologne smells, because cologne smell good, bruh. Because the stuff that we spritz on our body smell good as fuck. So I'm just, I'm just asking, like, does it smell good or something out there? Because there got to be. That is a Ferrari ice cream truck. Hey, okay. Boom, we're going to, we're about to get on, the, <laughs> we're getting on the Bonhoeff right now. See that? We're going to try to find the main church and get some good donor but right now trains next what did you say you're getting on here's the stay right there you said the bonhoff you're getting on the bonhoff the bonhoff yeah. train station you don't get on the bonhoff you go to the <laughs> okay this is 
go, man. We're getting on the bond. We're on the bond. Frankfurt has one of these. Yeah. And so does Stuttgart. All the major cities have these bonds. And it's very nice. It's really easy transport. It's kind of wow, we're supposed to get off. No, I say so we there's a lot of I I've heard from a friend of mine that's living out there right now that there are a lot of uh, trains and stuff out there. It's an elaborate train system. So my question then becomes: Do you have to have a car in Germany, or can you get pretty much anywhere on bus and train? That's my big question because I know Chicago, you did not have to have a car, no matter where. Like you can travel to the suburbs th via bus or subway system. You did not have to own a car, but in Germany, is this the case? Let me know in the comments down below. I said we keep. There it is. Let's keep one more. One more. So curry version pommes is bratwurst and French fries. Yes, That's the German word for French fries. Pommes. Very good. We're in the pommes. middle of Cologne right now. Germany, one of the major cities that we have not explored yet. And this is only gonna be a short tour because we're gonna be here for a couple hours. Definitely gonna come back and meet more of you guys. Yes. Honestly, I wanna do this, man. I wanna meet you guys out there, man. That, that would be so dope. That would be so dope. Meeting you guys in Deutschland. That would be so cool. That's why I'm trying to fly out there this year, man. This has happened to me so many times in Germany. No cars around. Now they're walking, but before everybody was just waiting because it, it's the right thing to do. When the guy's red, don't walk. But in America, when there's no cars, you just walk. It's cool to see. True, 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 true. So I wasn't sure how how anal people are about that. I know you guys have a term out there called Allmann. Um, you know, people who like traditional German people and stuff. Pretty much like the most German of German people. Uh, pretty much like here, if the light's red, we don't give a fuck. We'll walk across the street if there's no cars in sight. Like if the light is red and it's saying don't cross the street but there's no cars, we'll walk across the fucking street. But in Germany, it seems like that's less of a popular thing. Not to say that nobody does it, but it's not as common because I feel like if you do do that and you get caught, you get fined. But I'm also not sure if that's, that, if that's common out there either. Just let me know in the comments down below. Everybody obeying the law. All right, look, I wanted to talk about this too. This restaurant is a Cuban restaurant. Me and Silas also pointed out a Chinese restaurant on the other side of the street. Hey. So as an American in a foreign country, eating foreign food of the country that you're currently in is like double travel. Yes, bro, that's funny as hell. You travel to Germany and then you all, you know, you're already eating German food, so that's awesome, but then they have international foods from other places. So you go to Germany to eat international food from that country, but then international foods from other countries like Cuba, China, all that other stuff. Because every country has restaurants from other countries, if that makes sense. And it's it's actually really cool because, you know, there's certain restaurants from other countries that you have in certain countries that you don't have in other countries. For instance, let's say there's a really dope Chinese spot in Germany that you don't have in America, but you have in Germany and other countries in that region, you know? That's actually pretty fucking cool, bro. It's like, yo, I'm an American eating Cuban food in Germany. Yes. Kind of mind blowing, right? Yeah. Because the people who have the Cuban restaurant had to immigrate from Cuba, and then we came here from America, and then it's like three by three, hey. boom, boom, boom. And then you just get like triple hyped. <laughs> hey. It's honestly dope. Triple stack. What the fuck? Oh shit! She don't give a fuck, dog. She don't give a fuck. That's what I was talking about. So the light is red, but she crossed the street anyways. And then maybe these people across the street are silently judging her. I don't know. I mean, it looks like this guy right here is silently judging her. Maybe she's silently judging her too, but. Or maybe they're looking towards Connor Sullivan with the camera. But anyways. <laughs> I have never seen that in my whole time in Germany. I don't know if she's not from Germany. She's probably not from Germany. But I've been conditioned by the Germans to only walk when it's green. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. Like there. Cologne looks beautiful, man. I'm not going to lie. Cologne looks beautiful. I see like a lot of old Victorian-esque uh, architecture buildings and stuff out there. And that's actually what I wanted to really embrace when I do travel out there and stuff like that. It looks very beautiful, man. Very beautiful. It's like a Victorian modern-esque feel in a way. Beautiful. beautiful. I'm not sure what part of Cologne this is. Y'all can let me know, but there's a bunch of donor shops right here. Everybody's outside drinking beer. It's a great day. Look at people right there under the umbrellas. Over there, donuts. 
Uh, we're gonna try to find the church. We're gonna come back here and we're gonna have you guys show us everything, but today is just like two, three hours of us walking around and basically being like, we wanna come back. I want this scooter. Hey. <laughs> Bro, that's dope. <laughs> If any of you people who watch these videos can help me get a scooter like that, I will repay you somehow. That is worth it. Yes. Bro, that is so tight. Yes. Look at all that good food. So many people out enjoying the weather. I feel like, man, I don't know. Like, I, I'm getting a different impression watching this video than I did from like some of the other videos where like, oh, Germans aren't social and blah, blah, blah. It looks like everybody's very social. It looks very inviting. This looks like a very inviting area. Um, can you guys tell me what the atmosphere of the people here are like in Cologne, Germany versus other parts of Germany? Uh, is, are people more welcoming? Are people more reserved? Um, I'm just curious. The city has a good balance of Pretty much a lot of different cultures in one. Obviously, German culture. We see the Turkish donut kebabs. Hey, I heard about some kebabs. Syrian shawarma. It's a big yes. time city. Shawarma. It's 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 Serbian. He said Syrian. He said Syrian. Sh it, it, he said he said shawarma. I'm pretty sure it's Sharma, isn't it? Dang. It's kind of like Frankfurt or Stuttgart. Just a different place in Germany. Very packed. Big old shopping. Everybody has an H and M. Everybody's got a Starbucks. Packed. And when it's Sunday, everybody's out. Oh, look at these. Y'all love your bread, don't you? This is nice. There's a lot of people there. Is this one of the most famous ice cream places in Cologne? Ooh. Oh, it looks good, but I don't have time for that. Nice. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure this is the main shopping mall in Cologne. There's a heck of people out here. A lot I like it a lot. If bro, this looks incredibly inviting. I'm pumped to go to Germany. I was going off. I'm pumped. There's that bell. Hell yeah. Dope. We're gonna cut through. We're gonna try to cut through this door. Yes. This is tight. What's good? What's your name? Uh, Slovan. Slovan. Slovan watched our story that we're gonna come yeah, to uh, Cologne, us. and you've been wandering around. Like, like, like for, I don't know, like 15 minutes? Let's go, you found us. Boom. Yo, that's, that's dope. This guy's a man. He made it. You're the man, bro. You made the vlog, too. Yeah. Do you have anything to say now that you made yeah, the vlog? I have one I'm, I'm, I'm to share not, with the world. It's the first, uh, I don't know, make make peace? Hey, that's hey, good. That yeah, 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 that's yeah that's there that's you go. Message. He that's said make peace. Message. We're going to talk about that. Because we are not from here. What, what are you from? Where's Syria. The... He's from Syria. He's from Syria. I'm from the US oh, wow. and we're in Germany. Nice. So make peace is actually a good message because that's what me make and Sal is trying to promote. Yes. That's dope. That's good, bro. Make peace. And even this guy right, too. Right. We're all from different places. This is yeah, that's dope. Peace. That's dope. Oh. And look at it. <laughs> Now we, we have a videographer now. No, you yeah. have video. I can't do videos. Which one? This one. Oh, it's already on. Okay, I find it. Go, go back. It's already on, right? Yes, yeah, it's, it's on. <laughs> All right, you got it. Go ahead. Perfect. So, look here. Yeah, yeah you. you got Thank it. You. <laughs> Buddy must be drunk, dog. I know he didn't press a button. <laughs> Hell no, that's funny, guys. Anyways, that was actually really cool, very entertaining. I got I have a very, I have a, a, a much better sense of what Cologne is. I'm gonna watch more videos to get a better idea of what to expect when traveling to Cologne, Germany. But then I'm also gonna just check out other other places in Germany like Stuttgart, um, Munich, Berlin. Um, you know other places Dortmund things of that nature and I just want you guys to comment down below like the answers to my questions throughout this video and also uh, Show some love to the original video go to the, uh, the description and click on the original link watch it He's a really cool dude very cool dude get him to a million subs as fast and as humanly possible If you're not already subscribed, I'm subscribed and um, you know, here's proof boom subscribed right there Hey, zoom in Real quick, I'm subscribed. So should you. And and guess what? I like this video. Hey, gang, gang. Um, join our Discord. We are very tightly knit, so you should totally uh, join the, the movement. And that's pretty much it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until the next time, I see you guys again. Take care, peace. Hey, what's up? Did you guys subscribe to the channel? Did you subscribe to the channel?
Ah, well, if you haven't, make sure you do that. Also, we do have a Discord. The Discord link is always gonna be in the description down below on any of my videos, and it's dope. What we do on Discord is pretty simple. A lot of you guys are, I'm collecting you guys from a bunch of different countries, a bunch of different places, and you guys wanna teach me a whole bunch of stuff. You guys can join the Discord and teach me anything. You can send me any kind of messages and stuff. You can actually post memes. You could participate in the community and just make friends. Just Go ahead and join the Discord and see what, how, what what kind of situation you're getting into for yourself. Also, there's going to be some giveaways in the future. There's going to be some giveaways. But to create some incentive for that, I need you guys to follow me on Instagram. Are you guys following me on Instagram? You know what my Instagram looks like? You probably don't know what my Instagram name is. Uh. <laughs> It's right there. Just go ahead and check it out. Check it out. Check it out. It, it's dope. Uh, just follow me on Instagram. I, I do live streams every day. I try to, you know, engage with you guys in every way possible. I know a lot of, a lot, not a lot of creators are very engaging with their fan base. I try to be engaging. So just go ahead and check it out. There's no harm, no foul. Follow me on Twitter too. I honestly am trying to grow my Twitter, <laughs> but I don't really post that often on there. But when I do, you guys will be the first to see whatever post those will be. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you guys want shout outs or whatever, I don't know a lot of, we have a lot of upcoming independent artists that have been hitting me up as of late i might create a series where i get i favor my international independent artists and stuff and i might promote you guys for free but just it might just be one or two a week you know I and mean, you guys can give me some feedback on that but all to say follow me on my social medias all right if you guys aren't doing that already you need to do that because that's a pretty big deal <laughs> i'll see you guys later but enjoy the content i create it's gonna be random uh reaction videos a lot of a lot of everything reaction videos vlogs challenges cooking videos gaming videos anything you guys suggest when you join my discord or message me on instagram but i'll see you guys soon take care follow me peace